Hi all, welcome to my channel Tech LT World. In previous uh, video, I have given you the you can say introductory part of uh, 5G. So today uh, we are going to uh, discuss about the 5G architecture. So let's start. Already uh, we have discussed like we have a two uh, kind of uh, architecture, standalone and non-standalone. So uh, there are a few bullet points you can say like eutra nr dual connectivity is basically supported here and uv is connected to nr and lt both simultaneously and one e node b can be connected to many g node b and one g node b can be connected to many e node b and you can see uh, you can say a simple diagram uh, visualization where we can see lt and uh, nr both are connected to a uh, like lt code and uh, the data and the control uh, plane is like uh, you can say visualize in this uh, picture so control plane is basically going through l3 and uh, data plane is going through both uh, we can uh, go in more details in further slides so so we can see uh, like our non-stand uh, alone architecture uh, which is using the, the 4G core network is divided into three types like 3, 3A and 3X. In diagram we can see uh, in option 3 uh, we have uh, two separate uh, uh, nodes like E node B works as a master node B and uh, G node B works as a secondary node through which the U is connected and we uh, and uh, e node b is connected to uh, uh, lt mme so we can see uh, and here also in option 3a uh, we have almost same architecture we have only difference with the control plane and user plane and uh, we can go through the you can say main points highlighting points uh, and difference between this option 3 and 3a so in both the cases the 4g node b uh, provides a control plane connectivity towards the core network and acts as a master node and the 5g node b has a control plane connectivity through x2 interface and it acts as a secondary node so this is one more uh, one major point if you cons consider option 3 all user plane data tunnel through e node b only and uh, pdcp in in, in e node b uh, uh, will dynamic uh, dynamically splits the downlink data between E node B and G node B. And if you'll come uh, to option 3A, the user connectivity between the signaling gateway and uh, G node B is provided. Here also, E node B will remain the master node B. Depending upon the EPS type, uh, E node B may divide the work. You can say, like, a speech type. Uh, uh, data uh, it will uh, direct it toward e node b and uh, eps will be transferring the data uh, to uh, g node b towards g node b so this is the main difference and so when we'll come to option 3x we can see this is the 3x uh, diagram so this 3x basically uh, a cam just to overcome the issues uh, in whatever the issues are in 3 or 3 basically this 3x option is uh, deploying uh, as a practical so uh, in this case the user plane path uh, are between the e node b g node b and sg uh, gateway so uh, you can see the this user plane part i uh, means it is connected uh, like this and uh, remaining all the architecture same and the e node b remains the master node and that is uh, fixed uh, which is able to control the selection of the downlink data path from uh, the signaling gateway uh, which we can say like that the e node b can provide mme with the ip address of the g node b for the same epsb error while it can provide the mme with its own ip for the other EPS pair. So basically, uh, e -node -B, uh, master e -node -B will decide this IP allocation. 
and the other point is like if the coverage of the G node becomes weak, uh, then G node B can dynamically forward uh, forward the data across X2 towards the A node B. So when the coverage is going to be weak for G node B, uh, it will like uh, dynamically it will uh, forward the data to A node B. Um, and if you go through the standalone it's a very simple uh, architecture so in a standalone we have a 5g code and the master node uh, will always be g node b so as a nice it's a simple diagram you can see uh, for 5g nr and uh, now if you go in a detailed core 5g core architecture that also i have so you can see in the next slide yeah uh, we can have a look uh, in this particular architecture which is 5g core network architecture we have a uv uh, which is connected through ran and amf and ran is connected through uf upf and then upf is connected to smf through n4 and uv is also connected through n1 interface through mf and ausf and we have uh, further more new three blocks for basically for new 5G like NSSF, NEF, and NRF. These are basically new. And if you talk about AUSF, AMF, and SMF, this is basically you can say in total we can call uh, it as a MME. And PCF is working like PCRF. So it's it's only the bifurcation only the three nodes which has been added for 5g are these three we can go into details uh, in the next slide yeah these are the 5g network functions so whatever i told you that we have the nodes we have the nodes uv and uh, ran then upf that is user plane function one is data network ausf that is authentication server function AMF that is core access and mobility management function and SMF that is session management. This three all this three combined you can say uh, are working as a MME. And if you'll go through the new uh, 5G functions, these are NSSF that is network slice selection function, NEF network exposure function, and NRF NF repository function. So these three uh, we will uh, discuss separately because this is a new function which is added. And the next uh, network function is PCF that is policy, uh, policy control function which is similar to PCRF. UDM U, uh, that is a unified data management uh, that you can uh, say it's like working as a HSS. And we have uh, application function. So we can say like uh, SGW and PGW have been divided into session management function that is smf and user plane function that is upf here are the function uh, you can say in bullets we have divided asf the main function is subscriber authentication and during registration or re-registration with 5g is managed by this authentication server function and when we come to about AMF, AMF is handling uh, NAS signaling termination and uh, security. Access authentication, it supports network slicing that we will gonna discuss uh, in our next video. And it supports for the intra-system and inter-system mobility. Mobility management control, that is subscription policy. And when you come to our, uh, come about SMF, SMF basically it uh, handles UEIP address allocation and management, session management, then selection and control of uh, UP function, and the control part of the policy informant, uh, enforcement and quality of service. These all are handled by SMF. If we'll talk about UPF, that is the anchor point for uh, intra and internet mobility, the main function. And so this is the node point you can say, and Packet routing and forwarding is done by this UPF. External PDU session point of interconnect to data network. DL packet buffering and DL data notification triggering. So these are the things which is handled by uh, uh, UPF.
so you can go through uh, more detail and you can come up with a lot of questions what what uh, whatever you have in your mind uh, meanwhile i am also uh, trying to find more things on uh, uh, 5g as all are like new in this uh, technology so uh, keep studying keep sharing and i have also a facebook page please uh, whatever you have question queries we can discuss over there there are a lot of experts uh, guys are there so uh, please drop a uh, you can say comment in uh, youtube uh, comment also or you can uh, directly you can put uh, your question queries on my facebook page also so for today uh, thank you and will next video we will try to cover uh, 5g call flow thanks